This afternoon, police released video showing Sandra Cantu at Christmas. The faces of other children in her family have been blurred to protect their identity. Until now, only still photos of the missing eight-year-old have been released. A still picture kind of dehumanizes somewhat, but seeing how little this girl is and how frail she looks, I mean, she was a small little girl for her age. Um, we want the video out there. We want people to continue to be interested in it because they've seen the same news over and over California and nationwide, the people that believe that they've seen her, and those have all been followed up on. So those tips would definitely say that she's alive. Tracy police also want the public to know about Sandra's birthmark on the right side of her cheek, a mark that may help narrow down the search. Within the past week, homes have been searched Cars have been towed, and many people have been questioned. Investigators are not giving up much. Unfortunately, I can't get into whether we found anything or not, and I can't verify where it was at. We did serve a search warrant, yes. The Tracy Landfill is another place where search teams are continuing to sift for clues today and tomorrow. Yesterday, police say they found a Hello Kitty t-shirt while going through the trash. Sandra was last seen wearing a Hello Kitty t-shirt. Sandra's mother told investigators that shirt is not hers. Sandra's father will also be questioned by police today, along with many others at the mobile home park. Investigators say that tomorrow and Sunday, the search for missing eight-year-old Sandra Cantu will become extreme. They say volunteers will canvas the city, be posting flyers. Police say they need all the help they can get. If you're interested in volunteering, you can go to the Tracy Fire Administration building where uh, they will tell you what you can do to help.